Alberta County hires outside law firm to block Rebel News access filings. Thorhill County, about an hour north of the capital city of Edmonton, has been the subject of access to information investigations by Rebel News into the county's bizarre rewrite of its land use bylaws in partnership with a foreign urban planning consulting firm in one of the most rural places in the entire country. Thorhild, a largely rural county, has a population of approximately 3,000 residents. In fact, the population has dropped from 2016 numbers. It's spread out across 2,000 kilometers square. However, the county recently attempted to redraft the local land use regulations with the help of a consulting firm, Green Space Alliance Urban Planning Firm, or GSA. Now, GSA is an international company based out of India that focuses on green urban schemes. Now, according to previous reporting by my friend Arthur Green, formerly of the Western Standard, residents of the county were outraged at the potential new regulations. Locals told Green the proposed LUB, that's land use bylaw, also refers the reader to documents that don't exist or don't exist in the capacity that the land use bylaw suggests they do. For example, our proposed land use bylaw directs the reader to the urban hen bylaw, though council voted against urban hens on January 14th, 2021, and there is no such document. Our proposed land use bylaw also directs us to the Animal Control Act for how to keep animals and livestock. However, our county's animal control bylaw is specific to dogs. We have concerns about including the strict limiting of food production. We are an agricultural county. It was crazy. This urban planning firm was suggesting a land use bylaw rewrite that would limit food production in a county full of farms. Now, after heated debate at county council meetings, the county of Thorhild reverted back to the previous more sane land use rules from 2015. Now, I wanted to know about all these missing documents and how much this cost the residents of Thorhild County to hire this outside urban planning firm to come to turned Thorhill County into the world's largest 15-minute city. I wanted details of the contract and communications relating to GSA and the county. But instead of documents, I received two separate invoices totaling $2,100 for an unknown trove of records. Naturally, we appealed to the Office of the Privacy Commissioner and we asked for your help at home. And you generously donated to our special investigations and access filing fund at rebelinvestigates.com to cover the cost of getting those documents and then researching those documents. However, I can give you an update. The documents have not been given to us. Instead, we received a legal letter from an outside law firm that the county has now hired to block our two separate access filings. Look at this. It's from Brownlee LLP, Barristers and Solicitors out of Edmonton. And the letter to us says, Please be advised that we are the solicitors for Thorhill County in regards to the above noted request for review. In that regard, please find enclosed a change of contact address for service form changing the address for service in this file to our office. Please direct all future correspondence regarding the Office of the Information and Privacy Commissioner request for review file directly to the writer's attention. Yours truly, Brownlee, LLP. And now I have to direct all my correspondence on the appeal to these lawyers. Thorhill County has lawyered up to fight my appeal to get them to release those documents. Good luck to them, I guess, but I am getting those records and I am more motivated now than I was before. The question now is, how much money is the County of Thorhild, population 3,000 people, willing to waste on lawyers to prevent the light of day from inevitably shining on this weird little episode? For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunreed. 
if you would like to support this access to information appeal, I mean, I may potentially have to hire a lawyer here to fight with Thorhill County's lawyers to get these documents and to support our other access filings in other municipalities and other levels of government all across the country. You can make a donation at rebelinvestigates.com. And thanks in advance to everyone who makes this important work possible.